What's up everybody and welcome to this week's Wednesday Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the movie Iron Man. That will fill in our eye spot for this, uh, for our alphabetical list, right? So this week we're going to be reviewing Iron Man. And so let me give you guys the summary. Then I'll give you guys my rating. And then I'll give you guys my reason for that rating. So. Let's start with the summary. Also, if you want, you guys can pause here and then you guys can go and watch the movie if you want to do that. Or you can just listen to my review and then you guys can go and uh, watch the movie afterwards, okay? So, uh, if you want to pause now, I'm giving you guys the decision to pause now, but if you don't, just, I'm going to continue. So, now I'm going to continue. Alright, so, Tony Stark, played by Robert Downey Jr is this playboy philanthropist and he doesn't have this suit yet. He makes we weapons for the military. So they go to Afghanistan while he's testing out his missiles. However, he gets captured. And so <clears throat> as a captive, uh, his, the people that caught him said, hey, make missiles for us. So what does he do? He, doesn't make missiles, he creates his uh, a suit of armor for him to escape. So lo and behold, he comes back to the US uh, and he creates a new suit uh, in, in order to go and f go back to Afghanistan because one of the characters in the movie, I believe his name is Stain, right, uh, is selling uh, weapons to his uh, to his insurgents so that is pretty much the gist of the movie and so Iron Man has to go and help uh, the US out and help us out and help himself out and all that great awesomeness that he is because he's Iron Man and he's Robert Downey Jr. or Tony Stark is Robert Downey Jr. as a lot of people like to say I, I see it I see the, the uncanny resemblance in the two people. They look exactly alike, both in character as well as money, you know? And he's, he's a genius, Robert Downey Jr., very great actor. Uh, and um, very known for not just this role, but also Sherlock and all his other roles that he's played in, in the past. So, that's my summary for Iron Man. My rating would be a 95. It's really hot. It's really up there. I like it. I like this movie. Uh, it's the first one uh, out of the now third, because the third one will be coming out. But I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. That will be coming out uh, soon. And then, I, I like it. It's, it's a very good movie, filled with action, uh, filled with um, a character that uses his mind. And he creates his power. And it's, and it's crazy, it's crazy, because he, he's, he's very smart, and he, he's very charismatic, and he's a character that you like. You really like him. He's a character that you, you really like. He's, he's kind of like that James Bondish character, but for Marvel, you know? That, that's what I see him as, and I, I like that, I like that. I like that type of character. And the suit is, is pretty awesome, you gotta admit that. But the reason why I don't give it that complete 100% is because it does have some continuity errors. It does have some character issues. For one, um, Tony says that his calculations are always correct. Now this may be because he's very, um, he's a very, un, you know, very arrogant type of person. And so, because we know that this is wrong, that his calculations are incorrect because of the force of the uh, some of the the things that he's been doing. I don't want to say too much, but he, he underestimated the calculations of the forces and stuff like that. So him saying that his calculations are always correct is false. But there are also other things that make other characters, such as um, he says that he's an MIT summa cum laude, when MIT doesn't give that type of honor. So there's a, there's other things there's there's some errors in there back and forth, um, but very small, and that's why I don't make it like ten percent. I just make it five percent, so it's a little a little good. But so if you like action, this is a movie you'll like. Robert Downey Jr. Um, 
And I mean, watch it. Watch it. I know you'll like it. So, that's it. That's my review for Iron Man. But let me give you guys an extra review. An extra review? What? Yes, I'm going to review Iron Man 3, the trailer, okay? Because the official movie hasn't been out yet. And so, if you guys haven't seen the trailer, if you guys want to go and see the trailer, go into the description below, and it should be in there. The link should be in there for you guys. But, let me tell you guys the, the, the premise. And I'm just going to do it in one sentence. Does the suit make the man? Or does the man make the suit? Is Tony Stark Iron Man because of his suit? Or is he, does he uphold the creation of Iron Man? And uh, though those are two different things. You, you have to see is, is he, really, is he really Iron Man without the suit? And this is a battle against himself. A battle of what and who am I? So, that's pretty much the gist of the trailer, but of course, there's a whole bunch of crazy, dramatic, and action-y scenes in there, and it's great to go and watch. So, go and watch the trailer. Uh, the movie will come out, the Iron Man 3 will come out in May of 2013 here, May 3rd, I believe, May 3rd, 2013, here in the States, but if you're, I believe, in Europe, it's in April. I could be wrong, though. So... Uh, go and enjoy that, but until then, or I should say until next week, my name is Alberto, and this is the Wednesday review episode for this week. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.